right we live now hi uh, namaste everyone welcome to hindi university um, really excited to have all of you uh, today um, as you know we meet uh, every sunday at uh, 8 am us specific time which is time on the the west coast of the us to learn about the hindi language um, for those of you who are completely new to hindi university you can learn more about us by going to our youtube channel which is youtube.com/hindiuniversity one word and um, you will find all the the prior videos that you have recorded uh, you know different things and if you are interested in joining the the live classes that we have every sunday you can get all the details on this page which is tiny.cc/hindi university so any kind of changes updates we make sure that um, everything is updated here Uh, you can find the details about how to join the Sunday class and uh, over ten plus, you know, the the practice sessions we have throughout the week. Uh, you can get all the details about the practice sessions also here and the books that we've been following, uh, details of the Discord, you know, community and the WhatsApp, um, and then also the the, the Hindi University library, um, you know, where you can see the courses divided into a different sort of themes and and topics. plus the hu calendar so if you want to know when all the practice sessions are you can get all the details here okay with that being said as you know that this year we've been following a blended curriculum so we are bringing together the complete beginners as well as the intermediate plus you know students and we're following a few books right one is the pingu learns hindi uh, which is book for the complete beginners along with that we are following the book by professor richard delacy uh, who is a hindi professor at the harvard university and uh, right now we are on chapter 13 so if you can be called we are on chapter number 13 from the elementary hindi book from professor richard dinesi okay uh, in the previous class if you can be called we we discussed a lot of use cases around layak how to use layak in different context uh, in this class is going to be a very important uh, grammatical topic uh, in which we will be talking throughout the the class about how to use gerunds in hindi okay um most of you are probably have come across gerunds in your uh, in your uh, native language how they are being used uh, the different sort of nuances around gerunds as well as participle um if not we'll try to do a recap of it quickly as well so that way you know why we are using gerunds and how hindi uh, language uh, you know look at it uh, you know from uh, gerunds okay um throughout the class if you have any questions feel free to 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 um you know take a pause and ask questions right i mean if you have it most likely other students may have it as well so don't be shy okay um so let's get started we'll directly jump into hindi uh, how to use gerunds in hindi okay so before i get into the definition of gerunds i'm going to write some sentences here we'll start with first english because um gerunds are most common in english language and the indo european language so we'll first write down four sentences and i'm going to i'm going to quiz you in a certain way um and again don't don't worry about being wrong here the whole point is that we are exercising it together okay um so the first sentence i have is the boy is smiling okay very simple sentence you probably have come across uh come across the sentence multiple times the boy is smiling um the second one same thing you can say is the smiling boy okay third one i like is the boy likes to smile and the fourth one is smiling is good whatever for health or anything like that right for health okay um four simple sentences it should not come to any of you as a, as a surprise or anything right so if i if you were to just before i put anyone you know as a volunteer if you were to just think about it and reflect on these four sentences you know you can see that smiling is used here smiling is used here and here also and here we have to smile okay just try to 
reflect over these sentences and from a completely grammatical perspective, okay, how is smiling used in all these sentences? Don't worry if you cannot get all of them, but I think you should be able to get at least two or more, all of you, okay? Um, how do you think smiling is being used here? Jackie Ji, let's talk about the first one. What is, uh, the boy is smiling. What is smiling here? I have no idea. I, I would guess um, an adjective. Okay, okay. So is it describing, what is it describing? Let's say if you don't know, you want to just like think about what is it describing? Something, something he's doing. Yeah, something he is doing, right? So he's laughing or walking or going. So it's a verb. It's a verb. Very good. Very good. Right. So you're saying it's an action. Right. Yes. So it is an. It is a verb. Very good. Right. Now let's talk about the second one. So I think everyone should be clear here. If anyone has a, has any questions, feel free to 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 tell me. We can go over it again. But I think by just by going over it, go over it, it should be clear that here in the very first sentence, smiling is a verb because it is describing an action. Okay, let's look at the next one. Lisa Ji, what do you think it is? The smiling boy. The smiling boy it is describing the boy. Describing the boy. So what is the boy? The boy is a, a noun. Boys. Yeah, it's right? a noun, correct. Yeah. So mm -hmm. When you describe a noun, what are those things called? Adjectives. Very good, right? Very good, right? So in this case, it is a it is an adjective, right? The smiling boy. Okay. So even in English, you can tell that you know in general when we use the verb to smile, you can tell that it's it's the first sentence smiling is used um, in the present continuous tense. Okay. Um, also known as like you know participle so it was clear and then but still the same thing you used to describe um, to the noun basically right the same concept so those are known if you recall when you we were starting the Usha Yen book we learned about participles participles are concepts that can be used as verbs as well as adjectives and other parts of speech Right, so same thing that we had here, used as a verb, now used here as an adjective, okay? In English, you're not differentiating it, but when you're saying it in Hindi, can I say it as it is? Uh, not necessarily, right, and we learned about it. But anyway, let's keep going. The boy likes to smile, okay? What is, now slightly different, what, how is smile being used here? Shilaji, you want to quickly unmute? What do you think? Verb. Yeah, verb, right? And it is used as which form of the verb? That's the infinitive. Very good, right? So this is infinitive. Infinitive. So this is typically when I go, we go over the verbs, I always go over like to smile, to eat, to drink, to go, to come, right? Jana, khana, bona, pina, all of them are ending with na, right? Now let's do the last one. Smiling is good for health. Okay, Aneskaji, what do you think it is? Um, that's uh, smiling is good for him. So for health, health. it describe yeah, it's it describes an action. So it has to be an adverb. Okay. Anyone else? Good. 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 Very I don't good know. Time. I I'm just guessing. What what are we okay? So what are we learning today? What's the topic for the class today? Oh, it's it's um it's a gerund. So this <laughs> so good. So that is a gerund. Is That's good a, very for good. health. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So very very good sort of a. The, the, Thanks for helping me out. <laughs> well, I didn't like expect like this is the the class right. So that was a trick question. So that's the topic of the class today. It is basically a a gerund okay so what is the definition here when you want if you look at it is it a it's used at a place of typically you start a sentence with a subject very good right? now yeah you start a sentence with a subject 
Typically, your subject is a noun or a pronoun, such as like the boy is smiling, okay, or he is smiling, typically, right? But when you want to describe the noun in the form of an action, those are nothing but your, your gerunds. Right? So that's why it is like smiling is good for health, but it's not really like, a, like you know, a, it's not really happening. It's just like the act of smiling is, is good for health. Okay, so hopefully it is clear. Okay, smiling is good for health. It is, uh, in this case, you can tell that, you know, um, your subject is basically derived from the, um, from the noun. Okay, and those are basically nothing but gerunds. So let me take a pause here. Basically, what we've done is we've written four different sentences. All of them have smiling, okay, or to smile in this case. And we were discussing from a grammatical perspective, how smiling is being used here. In the first one, the boy is smiling. How will you say that in Hindi, Jackie? Um, the um mus mus something like muskan kurta hai okay oh no sorry dorka muskan kur raha hai okay so yeah so it's muskurana i wrote it separately but muskurana um if you want to keep it keep make it simple and you want to say hasna which is to laugh that's okay as well like it because it's a uh, slightly easier to say hasna okay so if same sentence if you were to you can say ladka muskura remove the na and raha hai right ladka muskura raha hai muskura raha hai right continuous okay let's do the next one the the smiling boy um some of you may not recall it but you know it's okay lisa ji if you happen to, to um, i would think is mus Muskurata hua har ladka. Very good, right? Muskurata hua ladka. Okay. So what she's done is you remove the na and put ta. Typically, you can also say muskurata ladka. Okay, which also means a smiling boy. But you don't want to confuse to make it explicit that it is an adjective. You put hua. Okay, so in general, you can say muskurata ladka, okay, or girta ped, or chalti bus, okay, but to make it explicit that it is not uh, the something else you want to put hua, right? So muskurata hua ladka. I'm going to write it down here. Muskurata hua, okay, if it is a girl, muskurati hui ladki, okay, if it is the running bus. Chalti hui bus. Okay. Um, just a quick recap. The intent is not to spend too much time on the adjective. The intent is to <laughs> spend time on the gerund only. Okay. The next one is the boy likes to smile. I think it should be very simple because it's an infinitive. So, uh, Sheila ji, since you mentioned that, um, the boy likes to smile. Ladke ko muskarana pasante. Very good. Right. Ladke ko because it's to the boy, right? So, ladke ko muskurana, okay, pasand hai. Don't worry about the rest of the sentence. Look at the verb, how, or not the verb. Yeah, in this case, verb. Ladke ko muskurana. So, you're still using it the infinitive form, okay? Ladke ko muskurana pasand hai. Now, let's go back to the very, the, the, the topic that we're here for, Like right? Smiling is good for health. In, in, in English, Gerund is used. Gerund is used as it is, like the way you were using in the participle. Okay. If you were to guess, how would Hindi approach gerund? In different languages, they approach gerund different way. Okay. Um, anybody were to guess, what do you guys think it will be? Hindi will be approaching it. Oblique. Okay. Okay. How will you say that? Uh, muskurane. Uh -huh. Muskura, okay. A. Okay, so, um, so let's say it's good, okay. Uh, I'm going to say something 
सेहत है ओके वेरी गुड सेहत के लिए सेहत इज हेल्थ और टू कीप इट सिंपल आई एम गोना इवन से हेल्थ के लिए फॉर हेल्थ राइट सो आई एम गोना मेक इट इन इंग्लिश फॉर यू गाइस हेल्थ के लिए के लिए अच्छा है इट्स गुड राइट सो होपफुली द रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस शुड नॉट बी अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर हेल्थ इज हेल्थ के लिए इज गुड इज अच्छा है यस जेडी जी वर्ष कार मुस्कुरा वुड इट बी एन ऑब्लिक इंस्ट्रक्शन One step further. What will what will come before oblique? How about if you just use it as as it is, like the way you have it in the infinitive form? Muskarana. Very good. Read it. Read the entire sentence. Muskarana health ke liye achhe hai. Very good. Muskarana health ke liye achha hai. So in Hindi, you are. there will be case we'll talk about where you use post position after that which makes it obli but in hindi basically what you're doing is you are using infinitive uh, form of the word here to make it a gerund so you what, what you said is muskurana oh, okay okay so in both these cases you know you are in in, in this case basically using it as a um, as a verbal noun okay verbal noun it's verb but that is being used as a noun so i'm going to write it down here so it's a verbal noun a verb that is being used as a noun which is also specifically more specifically a gerund okay any any questions anyone okay so it's infinitive form of the verb is employed here um you know and um, it's considered often it's always is considered the masculine singular muskurana sehat ke liye acha hai okay we'll keep going because this is a new topic so i don't expect everyone to just you know get it right away so now just like that if you were to say something similar and you have something smoking is bad for health okay one thing you would all agree that smoking in this case is again a subject okay you can all agree that it's not really he is smoking or she is smoking or a group of people smoking it's not used as a verb okay you all agree that it is not used as an object as well what you will realize that it's, it's used as a subject okay so now you have mentally established that it is used it's a verb that is being used as a noun it is a gerund okay so what is to smoke in hindi which is the infinitive form of the verb what is to smoke pina okay what kya pina cigarette so you can say pina cigarette yeah You, you cigarette pina okay cigarette pina okay and, and anything else more formal some of you probably remember dhumrapan dhumrapan i hear it in the yes, flight yes, and stuff like yes. that yes so more, yeah in the flight you will say that and they the air host and the hostess will also announce it it's a more formal one so it's a dhum r pan so it's dhum r paan karna okay dhum r paan karna okay so it's dh with u ma with a r here a with a and n dhum r paan okay so cigarette peena you can say you can say dhum r paan karna if it is too hard it is not coming you can always use our best friend which is smoke karna 
okay. and it's, it's uh, we will we will be okay with that okay so now let's say how would you say that i want all of you to try it out you have already have an example from before which is smiling is good for health now you are just sim simply saying smoking is bad for health okay you already know how to say that in the infinitive form Okay, so I'm going to give some time to everyone and you just have to approach it. I'm so excited. A lot of our um, friends joined today. Some of them may have missed it before. So, okay. Okay. Mastranzi, kya chal raha hai? Ah, theek hai. Sab theek thak. Sab theek thak chal raha hai? Ah, sab theek, sab theek chal raha hai. और स्टॉकटन में कैसा मौसम है आज अभी तो अच्छा है मौसम सुहाना हो गया अभी ज्यादा गर्मी भी नहीं ज्यादा ठंडी भी नहीं सही बाहर घूमने का मौसम है अच्छा सही है तो आना पड़ेगा आपसे आप मिलने के लिए स्टॉकटन <laughs> अच्छा एक बार आप आइए और हाउ डू यू से दैट स्मोकिंग इज बैड फॉर हेल्थ अच्छा तो सिगरेट पीना तबीयत के लिए अच्छा नहीं very good right so cigarette pina okay health ke liye i'm going to make it simple again for everyone health ke liye for is ke liye and then what did you say uh cigarette pina tabiat ke liye acha nahi hai acha nahi hai that's a simple way in the more formal way you would be using which word uh dumra pan khana धूम्रपान करना सेहत के लिए इट स्टार्ट विद हानि हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ इट ओ ओ हानि खा वेरी गुड हानि खा अच्छा धूम्रपान आपका तबियत के लिए बहुत हानि है हानि का रखो ओके सो हानि खा हानि खा ह विद आ एंड देन न विद ई इन कार हानि का okay something that deteriorates your health that's what it is hani karak okay um uh, any questions so far ashit uh ashito ji i have a question yes. uh can we substitute kharab for hani karak in the sentence you can say that right if you want to use you know um you can use kharab hai you can totally say that there's nothing wrong okay, with it thank you is like hani karak it's a negative word so you will not put nahi after that you will simply say cigarette pina health ke liye hani karak hai okay or you if you want to just say kharab hai that's okay you can say kharab hai as well any more questions on this one we are still on case number 1 where gerunds are being introduced where you are learning that you know when you're using the verb as a noun you are simply using in, in hindi you know if you want to use gerunds you are simply using the infinitive form of the verb but that's not a verb it's a gerund it's a noun okay uh, yes uh, uh, jacky ji um sorry just a quick question um cigarette pina i've i've never heard that before is it like you drink a cigarette pina yeah so, <laughs> yeah, so it's a um, you you it's in hindi basically it's a it's considered as if like you know what you're when you're smoking it's itself is considered you're not really drinking it but it's it's said it in a way that it's you know it's you're as if you're drinking it okay so if i so, smoke do i say um mai cigarette pti hu that's right if you smoke you'll say mai cigarette pti hu or mai if you're smoking it right now to so say mai cigarette pi rahi hu okay right. so it doesn't mean that you're drinking it because it's no. not a no um, at liquid in that sense but you're right very good observation there thank you yeah okay okay aneska ji yes ashu ji um what is the word you used for health that i was not i i thought it was swasthya but it's so, not what yes. is it? you can say that so sehat it's the oh sehat okay yes. thank you but swasthya definitely is a good word you can use swasthya So if you go to the hospital, you probably have seen it, right? They will try to swast there, right? Yeah, awesome. Anyone else questions? Akil ji, how are you doing? 
Thank you, Kum. Thank you. You joined slightly bit late, so you may have missed it. But we were just going over, you know, how, you know, in English, for example, you have the verb that is being used as a noun, verbal noun, and specifically a gerund. Okay. Um, and the same thing we were introducing. So I, you probably joined the later part of it, but think about one sentence that you can say the you know where verb is being used as a noun and used as a subject or an object. Think in English right now. Um, um, okay. घर में जोर से बोलना बदतमीज है। Okay, okay, okay. So, um, right. Uh, first thing in English, okay, and then we'll convert it in Hindi. Okay. Um, speaking loudly inside is rude. Okay, speaking loudly, okay, is let's say I'm going to make it simple. Is rude. Yeah. Yeah. How will you say that? Zor se bolna rude hai. Okay, very good, right? So you you said zor se. So loudly is zor se. As you can tell, this is a zor se. Okay, so zor se, and then speaking. Okay, so zor se bolna. Ah, I just wrote it simple. Ah, you can say whatever you want. Zor se bolna, right? You can say zorse bolna rude hai or acha nahi hai um, or what however you want and it that's not the the point the point is basically you are using the infinitive form basically here okay um, anyone else want to share some examples so we can take that I'll tell one ah, yes uh, go for ah uh, Padna Mary um, hmm. Passion high or Junoon high? Very good. Right. So you you said reading is my reading is my passion. Reading is my passion. You can tell that she she is not reading right now. So it's basically the the verb that is being used as a as a gerund, right? So uh, you she said Padna. and my hobby okay so padna meri i can keep it simple padna meri hobby hai aur passion hai okay very good padna meri hobby hai aur mera passion hai okay um any questions so far anyone I want to make sure we are not going too fast. Where you know, and if you're having trouble, like what is going on here? So far, everyone together. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. Um, who else would like to say similar sentences, just like we have it here? So I mean, again, honestly, you can just replace it, just like she said. Reading is my hobby. You can simply say swimming is my hobby. Right? Nobody stopping you. So you can say Tarana meri ruchi hai. Right, where Tarana is a gerund, okay. Tarana meri ruchi hai, okay. Or skydiving karna, okay. Meri ruchi nahi hai, right? I mean, so you can say that too. Uh, anyone else would like to try some more sentences before we move on to the more complex ones? So right, right now we're still on case number one, where there's nothing after that, as in like no new grammatical concept are coming after, you know. Um, let's say she's saying, you know. Reading is my passion. The next level would be, I am going to, I am going to the beach for reading. Okay. The next sentence she would have said is, I am going to the beach for reading. Okay. What is the verb here? Going. Going, very good, right? To go, right? So you, if you were to simply say, "I'm going to the beach," you say, "Man, beach ja rahi," right? Or "Man, beach ja raha hum." Now you have for reading. Okay. Uh, 
how it is not used as a as a verb here right what is for in hindi oh yeah ke liye ke liye okay so one way would be you can keep it simple main reading ke liye bhi ja rahi hu right which is fine it's a like a small hack but if you want to say it in hindi what would you say what is reading is reading is what did we say just now reading is me padhna 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 and then after that you have ke liye so it becomes padhne ke liye padhne ke liye so this is your case number 2 where you know your infinitive form it's it changes into the oblique case ओके सो यू सेड इज मैं पढ़ने के लिए बीच जा रही हूं और बीच जा रहा हूं ओके आई एम गोना डू मोर बट आई जस्ट थॉट आई क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस यू बिकॉज दिस दिस एग्जांपल वाज रेलेवेंट ओके इफ यू वांट टू प्रैक्टिस मोर ऑन केस नंबर 1 आई एम हैप्पी टू डू सो केस नंबर 2 इज नथिंग बट यू नो द द एनीवन एनी थॉट्स क्वेश्चंस लेट्स गिव सम मोर टाइम Okay, Jackie, go for it. Um, so, if if um, the gerund is at the beginning of a sentence, is it generally takes the infinitive form? In Hindi, they take the infinitive form if they are used as subject as well as object. So, gerunds are not necessarily always the subject; they can be subject or object. Most of the time, they use as subject, but they can be object as well. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah, but in Hindi, they will be used as an infinitive form of the verb. Okay, thank you. Are you thinking of some example that is sort of troubling you? Maybe we can go over that. I was just hoping that um, when it's at the beginning of a sentence, it's always infinitive, and when it's somewhere else in the sentence, then it's a break. <laughs> no, no, that's not the case. Like, and we'll, we'll... <laughs> yeah. yes, Nandini ji. No, it, it may not be in the beginning. Me, padne ke liye bhi ja rahi hoon. Yes, that's right. So <laughs> it doesn't work because of that. You can have it in the beginning also. Awesome. Any other thoughts? Okay. So we'll do some more case one before I jump to case two. In this case, I'm going to take example that uh, Delacy is using in his book just so that uh, I. i go went over some simple examples because delicy you know he is using slightly challenging examples right so so the he uses like um um so he uses mithai jyada mithai khana sehat ke liye acha nahi hai okay so i'm going to write it down for you uh, which is this one is simple jyada mithai jyada mithai khana सेहत के लिए के लिए अच्छा नहीं है होपफुली दिस शुड बी क्लियर टू एवरी वन बिकॉज वी डेट सम एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर सेहत राइट सो ज्यादा इज ज्यादा मिठाई खाना वोट यू गैस थिंग इट मीन्स ज्यादा मिठाई खाना ईटिंग स्वीट्स या टू ईट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ईटिंग टू मेनी स्वीट्स राइट ईटिंग टू मेनी स्वीट्स इज नॉट गुड फॉर हेल्थ गुड फॉर योर हेल्थ so yeah eating too many sweets okay um next one it says like you know um you know in some of the official like rooms or offices or buildings um you know it is forbidden it like you know it is written something like that it is forbidden so it is forbidden in hindi is uh, mana hai okay so let's say there's a government building and you cannot come inside you know they they'll say something like andar aana andar aana mana hai right andar is to come inside right so andar aana is to to come basically but it is used as a subject so andar aana mana hai. it is forbidden to come inside okay it is forbidden to come inside the building okay um you probably have seen it like you know a lot of places in india on the road so they say spitting is you know forbidden because like a lot of people they eat the pan and then they spit right so so to spit is thukna so it's like you know thukna mana hai 
ओके और यहाँ थूक ना मना है ओके सो दैट इज यू नो इट इज नॉट अ वर्ब इट्स अ जेर वेयर ओके यहाँ थूक ना मना है ओके और सो समाइम द रिलीजियस प्लेसेस दिल से टू टू कम इन साइड द प्लेस विद योर योर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स और यू नो ऑन इज फॉर बिटन राइट सो चप्पल पहन चप्पल इज योर फ्लिप फ्लॉप राइट चप्पल पहन के अंदर आना मना है विच इज नथिंग बट अंदर आना मना है राइट सो चप्पल पहन के अंदर आना मना है सो अगेन दीज आर ऑल दीज आर ऑल केस नंबर वन ओके सो होपुली होपुली मोस्ट ऑफ इट शुड शुड मेक सेंस So now I'm going to change to case number two, um, where you know the gerunds are used with post positions. So far, gerunds, if you notice, none of them were used for post positions. Okay. So now, in the case where uh, okay, so in, in the case where you want to use them as a, uh, with post position, right? You want to show some sort of a A purpose of an action. You want to case number two. You want to uh, express. You want to express purpose of an action. Okay. So, for what do you what do you mean by purpose of an action? So, just like she she mentioned, like her hobby is she is passionate about reading. So right, so action is like padna, but you want to show the purpose. So that's ke liye. So when you have, in general, if you know, like you know, um, you have post position after some a lot of grammatical concept that changes into new oblique case. So na becomes ne, and it becomes padne ke liye. Padne ke liye. Okay, padne ke liye. Let's do some more practice of just taking the infinitive form of the word, putting some, uh, putting some post position after that. Okay. So for eating, for eating or to eat, what would that be? खाने के लिए. Good. Right. So खाना plus के लिए would be खाने के लिए. खाने के लिए. Anything else you guys think of? Where you want to show, you want to express purpose of an action. Like drinking water. Okay, which one? Oh, पीना पीने के लिए पानी पीने के लिए पीने के पीने के लिए हाँ नहीं बना रहे For traveling would be for traveling. चलने के लिए. So चलना is to go. Or घूमने घूमने के लिए घूमने. So घूमने के लिए. Right. So मैं. Uh, another one is uh, uh, तैयारे. No. तैयार ने के लिए to get ready. Okay. तैयार होने के लिए. Okay. तैयार 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 होने 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 के 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 लिए 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 ऊपर वाले कमरे में जा रहा हूँ लाइक और जा रही हूँ आई गोइंग टू द रूम अपस्टेयर फॉर गेटिंग रेडी और टू गेट रेडी ओके तैयार होने के लिए कीप गोइंग एनीथिंग एल्स दैट कम्स टू योर माइंड एंड इफ यू नोटिस अगेन पर्पस यू आर एक्सप्रेसिंग पर्पस ऑफ एन एक्शन ओके काम करने के लिए काम करने के लिए वेरी गुड राइट काम करने के लिए ओके सो हाउ विल यू से आई हैव टू ट्रैवल अ लॉट यू नो for for working or to work it's a hard sentence right how will you say that i okay so if you were to simply say i have to travel mujhe mujhe travel 
it's a um, if you guys recall i can you say it multiple times but it's, if i have to use padna you're like i have to do it mujhe travel karna padta hai padta hai like i have to do it there's no choice so it's a if you guys don't remember padta like in something that you have to do like but same thing you can add it here mujhe kaam karne ke liye travel karna padta hai okay anything else keep going this is a good to practice a lot of you know so it will get into your sort of memory that you know the infinity form of the used along with the the post positions not check earlier huh not check earlier nachne ke liye earlier mm -hmm. for dancing huh for dancing for dancing nachne ke liye mm -hmm. not नाचने के लिए ओके नाचने के लिए परफॉर्म करने के लिए ऑसम राइट सो आई गो राइट फ्रॉम सेंटेंसेस जस्ट सो दैट यू हैव अ फुल कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ हाउ टू से द फुल सेंटेंस आई गोन टेक सम सेंटेंसेस दैट डिलेसी यूजिंग इन दिस बुक so he says i like which is which is correct you can say um ve khana khane uh, ve khana khane ke liye shehar jate hain right so uh, they which is basically nothing but they go to the city in order to they go they go to the city okay um uh, they go to the city in order to okay in order to eat food purpose right in order okay you can say for eating as well so they go to the city ve khana okay ve khana khane ke liye ve khana khane ke liye shehar ve khana khane ke liye shehar jate hain okay so you can see that khana is food here khana is uh, supposed to be the jana is a verb here but here this is you know the verbal noun used with the post position ke liye okay aap khane ke liye shehar ja rahe hain any questions on the case number 2 ashuji this is just going way back i'm trying to remember i remember in um usha jain sometimes that ke liye is like dropped out right and that's what used to throw me yeah. so it would sometimes it's implied and i would it was always like oh it's that invisible in order to right is that the same as this case like you can remove it and it will be the same ve khana khane shehar jate hain okay you can also say that number 1 is using number 2 is not using it and which is implied and number 3 is using ko as well ve khana khane ko shehar jate hain and it will say it will exactly the same thing so it may throw you off like why did you remove it but it still has the same meaning so it is it is basically the, yeah the, no that's that was always the tricky one of seeing it like that yeah stick with this ke liye because it's easier mind doesn't play game there right you know that it's ke liye it's for the purpose right i mean so you can use it but i think it will slowly it will come to you and you know you you, you will not even realize it that why you are using it So Asuji, yeah, I I have a question then. Is this interchangeable with the first case? Like with the first case, we had I go to the beach to read. Uh -huh. Could you say I go to the city to eat and use karna instead of karna instead of the kane? So you want to say we padne kitab padne. बीच जाते हैं इज दैट व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से या जस्ट लाइक द फर्स्ट वन वेयर यू वेंट टू द बीच टू ईट आई मीन सो यू वेंट टू द बीच टू रीड यू यूज द इंफिनिटिव यस सो द इन द फर्स्ट केस इज देयर इज नो पोस्ट पोजीशन व्हिच इज रीडिंग इज गुड ओके रीडिंग इज माय पैशन इन द फर्स्ट केस यू नो यू आर नॉट एक्सप्रेसिंग द पर्पस ऑफ एन एक्शन ओके 
in this one which is you can definitely use it like main be padhne i'm not saying padhna ke liye okay i'm saying padhne ke liye okay if there was no post position after that it's your case number one okay. so and if it is still how would you feel at it immediately say they go to the beach right so we beach jate hain for what in order to do what read what, yes what would you say uh padhne ke liye so you are still saying padhne ke liye. okay so it is not really padhna you are saying padhne yes so it is number 2 is nothing but an oblique infinitive form of the word however if you remove it and if you simply say the kitab padhne li jate hain that's your case number 2 because it's implied that you know it's implied just by yeah that you know for going there for a purpose purpose of reading yeah but how did we do it in the first example we did it in the first example without the oblique we did it reading uh, is good for your health yeah with the beach with the beach i right? just as i was in the first example i just in the second sentence to tell you that it was to be your case number 2 oh okay okay i misunderstood that all right anyone else anyone else so far good right it's not too hard if it is too hard just think about ashuji i ashuji sorry i think in hindi you always have to say you're going to the beach to swim okay so i okay one more time unmute yourself because i had to there was some background noise sorry I, i i think jdg's question was why can't you say go to eat but in hindi you have to say you're going for eating that's what i'm saying i'm going you you are saying it in a different way not the same as translation directly from english that that's what right. i understand so that's correct like you know if you yeah. you, know, you have to use for eating and so it becomes to no blake but make it or kane ke liye yes I, i get your question now because you are saying like why can't i just put the to something right so the purpose is if you want to again like do the one one to one translation will not work it's like you know you have to think about like this is you're going there for for reading okay or let's say for hiking or swimming right um you know i mean I, I, even if you were to say like you know in mai bhi jata hu and then you know it's basically in english you're saying to read but as as nandini ji mentioned it's like you know it's in hindi is like really it's like for reading right um that's how the translation will work okay any any questions anyone anything else on this so far everyone together right it's even though it may feel like what the heck is happening <laughs> um all right so we'll do the harder one so so far it's simple right so to have infinity form and using infinity form in the oblique case now your case number 3 which is like you know uh combination of more things right so here delay say uses something like this okay so you have you have something ka okay so you have something ka intezam karna intezam karna okay so what is intezam karna intezam karna is nothing use as a verb which is to arrange to arrange okay so to arrange something okay so if you were to say simple in a in a simple sentence mai um um so without using the verb i i were to let's say mai intezam intezam kar dunga okay or karunga okay main intezam kar dunga which means i will i will arrange or i will make arrangements i will make arrangements okay so i right now i not define what your x is okay uh, let's say you are you are asked to say you will make arrangements 
for food or to eat i'll make arrangements for food or you know i'll make arrangements for eating again like this is like a rough translation which will not make sense it okay how will you say that okay okay so to eat is or to food is to eat is khana 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 and then so this is your basically the infinitive form and this is your used with ka okay so then it becomes khane khane ka khane ka so it basically your whole thing becomes khane ka intezam karna make arrangements for food or to eat khane ka intezam karna okay so let's say um let's say we are hosting a you know a, like a party or something like that right and then my we are dividing responsibilities okay um my wife she comes to me and like you know so aap khane ka intezam karo right so it's like imperative karna is basically changing but it's again like khane ka intezam khane ka is part is basically your the the verbal noun khane ka intezam like make arrangements for food okay khane ka intezam karo aur khane ka intezam kariye okay um like let's say or i come to like you know your house right and then like you know let's let's make some some or maybe we all go for a hiking or like a, a retreat or something like that so coffee ka intezam karo like arrange, make arrangements for the coffee okay um this may be a little bit tricky so i'm going to write it down a few times so it makes sense or at least it's you know you start at least drawing some pattern of it so i'm going to write it down right so first one the example you have is khane khane ka intezam khane ka intezam karna okay similar to that you have like you know um you have pine just like that you have pine ka intezam karna i'll write up some more um what other in, what other arrangements you can um you can think of khane so sorry ka intezam as in sleep right to a lot of people guests came to the house and you want to make sure that you can put beds everywhere so sone ka intezam karna okay anything else jaane ka very good so you have jaane ka so a guest came to your house and now like you know they're asking you to help us for the, the like help us for the departure right i mean for the return so jaane ka intezam karna okay all of it if you notice it it's like you know i'm going to write it down verbal noun or gerund specifically which is used infinitive form of the verb in the oblique case because of the post position okay um i think the the longer sentences will come naturally even if you can get the 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 um how the sentence is written if you can get that right or at least you can fit it in your mind i think that would help you like longer sentences don't worry about that okay um and do one more here and then we'll do some reading right um so just like you have uh, something ka intezam karna uh delacy says you know you can use this pattern also x which is we will define it as a verbal noun say uh inkar karna inkar karna okay uh inkar karna what is inkar karna what is inkar karna is just it means to refuse okay to refuse okay um so typically like you know it used like shaadi se inkar karna right so i'm going to write it down and then we'll use the so if you were to simply use a noun here so shaadi se inkar karna right now it's not a verbal noun shaadi se inkar karna 
राइट द वर्बल नाउन वुड बी बात करने से इनकार करना बात करना इज टू टॉक बात करने से इनकार करना ओके सो शी लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल शी इज रिफ्यूजिंग टू टॉक राइट वह बात करने से इनकार कर रही है ओके okay? वह जॉन से बात करने से इनकार कर रही शी इज रिफ्यूजिंग टू टॉक टू जॉन अगेन डोंट वरी अबाउट द लॉन्गर सेंटेंसेस राइट नाउ फोकस ऑन लाइक बात करना इज यूज अलॉन्ग विद यू नो से एंड देन अदर वर्ब्स इनकार करना बात करने से इनकार करना Right. So, Master G, yeah, are you just are you just using say there because it's say in car karna? That is correct. It's a it's a pattern, just like you know you have some other so same same. So, if you were to say refusing to meet, it would be say no. So you will say yes. Keep going. Um, Milnes say in car karna. Very good. Okay, so okay. Stacy, yeah. So if you were to say Stacy is refusing to meet um, to to John, so Stacy, John say, John ko milne se inkar kar rahi hai, right? So milne se inkar karna, right? So think of it as like you know, one is like this is the pattern you have to remember. X se inkar karna. Right, where this one is a verb, this one is a post position, and this one is your verbal noun. Okay, so it's slightly hard because it expects you to know the verb easily, and not only the the simple verb. In kar karna, it's it's considered one of the harder verb. Right, so you need to know that, and then you need to know the pattern that say has to be there, and then the third one is gerund. Uh, yes, Sheila ji. Um, say Milna and say in Kazakhana. Did you say John say or John Co? John. Um, so good question. How 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 are other people like when you're saying it? Other if native speakers are here, how do you say that? John say. Milna Will it be John, John Co? Baat karne se inkar karna. Will that make sense? It makes sense to me. Anybody else? Anybody else? How would you say that? I don't know if we have more native speakers today. Masaram ji, आप कैसे बोलोगे? Oh, uh, okay. John Sheila se baat karna, se inkar, inkar karna. Okay, so she's saying John. um sheila say okay john sheila say say versus john sheila say milne milne say intezar karna okay john sheila say milne se inkar inkar kar raha hai inkar kar raha hai so this is case number are you going to say the question are you going to say yeah yeah that's the question Question: Are you going to use say or co here? Yes. To me, co co works here. You know, you will say John Sheila co मिलने से uh, John Sheila co मिलने से इनकार कर रहा है. Um, so I would I would just thought I'll I'll ask some of you as well, like you know, especially who are more. Risha, Risha ji, how would you say that? Thank you. How would you say? जॉन शीला से मिलने से इनकार कर रहा है और जॉन शीला से मिलने से इनकार कर रहा है जॉन शीला से यस व्हाई सब्जेक्ट है ओके सो आई मीन आई इट्स आई एम नॉट both both i've seen both of them okay i've seen both of them uh, yes nandini ji i'm just thinking it's john ko sheila say milne se inkar kar raha no 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 will that be will that work no then you would you know you're stopping john from meeting sheila right 
John is stopped from. John, you, you are stopping John from meeting Sheila. That's how I understand it. No. Well, John is John is refusing to meet Sheila. Oh, John is refusing. Yes. So I think we are talking about two different things. Like you know, I think John is. One is John ko Sheila se milne se inkar karna. Like that. That's a different thing, right? I mean, that's like to to stop John from from meeting Sheila. That's not the that's not the thing. Like here is like he is refusing to 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 meet basically. Uh, anyway, it's a little bit. It's getting slightly more uh, uh, complicated here. So what I'll do is like I'll I'll dissect it further for you. Okay, Sheila ji. Okay. Then, thank you. That way, at least, like, you know, I have all the scenarios for you. Okay. Um, any questions? I want to do reading, but we ran out of time, and we want to help. Uh, we want to do some um, some time we have to spend on the, you know, on Discord as well. But in the meantime, we have some new folks here. Uh, before we stop the uh, broadcast, any final question before we take some introductions from some of the new folks? Are you any continuing with this? Are you continuing with this topic next yes. week? Yes, we will. And and can you take one sentence and illustrate it in the in the three types side by side? I I find it's hard to keep track of all of them. Yeah. Yes. So I think the no, case number one and case number two is possible. Case number three is it's on its own slightly, like say in car karna or you know say. Um, Say say ka intizam karna. Those are like special cases, but I I agree with you. I can do number one and number two. Okay. Uh, one more thing is um, one more thing is next week uh, we will do the class just for next week. We'll do class on Saturday. So I don't know if it works for all of you. Uh, so we'll we'll swap the time next week just with the Spanish you know Hindi class uh, because I'm leaving for a short trip to India on Sunday. Okay, and I don't want to have too many breaks in between. So next week, the class will be on Saturday. I'll post it in multiple places, including Tiny CC, including on Discord and WhatsApp, so you will not miss it. Um, in case if you have any arrangement, don't worry. The, the recording will still be there. Uh, following week, we'll not have a class, uh, you know, uh, because I'll be still home, right, in India. Yeah, so next week, we, we still have class, just like one week, we'll not have it, okay? Um, so I'm going to stop the broadcast and if there are more questions, I'll take it and 